Hey guys, so now it's time to do the final prep of the internal parts of the car to get it ready for paint. Alright guys, so the first thing I need to do is uh, to get in here where I've loaded in all these panels and just uh, smooth them out and tidy them up a little bit uh, so they'll look nice with a coat of paint on them. Let's start cleaning. All right, the next stage is to get in here. As you can see where they've done the conversion, they've cut and welded in some panels, which is pretty ugly and pretty dodgy. So I've got to get in there and tidy up all that rust and uh, get it ready for paint. All right, there's another random spot of rust here behind the back seat that I didn't notice until I just uh, sort of ground the surface off then. So it's another bit I'm gonna have to cut out and um, weld in. All right, and as you can see here, it's all touched up. It's getting... Uh, much quicker and easier to do these things nowadays, um, getting used to it. That was half an hour. So, All right, and uh, yet another little spot where they've done a really rough job. Whoever put the uh, air conditioning into this car cut a hole in here in the front wheel arch uh, on the driver's side, and they've, they've just made an absolute mess of it. So it's another spot I'm going to have to cut out and weld in a new plate, and if I need to put something through there. I can't even remember what went through that hole. I know it was the air conditioning lines and might have been some other stuff. If I need to put more holes in there later, I'll make a much needed job of it. Um, now I've finally uh, got to the stage where I need to sand back every panel that's got paint on it before I repaint everything. So uh, these things, which I'm not stripping back to bare metal, will get um, all sanded up and uh, scuffed up, ready for some some colour to go on. But uh, before I do that, I have to mask up all of these uh, tags so they don't get any paint on them and uh, don't get scratched up by my sanding. can repaint under here I need to clean off all these years of grot and filth that are uh, built up under here So uh, now I've got to do the stone guarding and it's something I haven't done before. I've never used this stuff before so uh, I'll have to see what it comes out like. It's really thick and gloopy and uh, it's water based which uh, is also a bit different so uh, let's see how it works.
That didn't come out too bad. It's not exactly the same texture as what is currently there. I sort of struggled a little bit to get it uh, a perfect finish. So now I need to do some uh, primer filler and just some straight primer over these bits and then we're uh, ready to roll. All right, while I'm waiting for a bit of paint to dry, I thought I'd just run through what I'm doing here because it's it's really cold at the moment. It was uh, one degree this morning when I got up and that's far too cold to paint. So what I've actually got to uh, work it out is I, I ended up getting this diesel heater, which uh, really does a fantastic job of heating up the booth. And what I've been doing is I've been spraying it inside the booth, aiming it into the booth before I start and getting it warming everything up, warming the metal of the car up so that it's uh, got some heat in it. And then what I've been doing is I've been aiming it at the, um, the inlet fan and it's actually been keeping the booth nice and warm while I've been painting. Um, I'll just start it up so you can actually see how much it blasts. It's quite noisy, but it, uh, it really does a great job. Oh. It's quite hot, so... Uh, yeah, that's what I've been uh, what I've been using, and it's actually working quite well. So uh, I don't have to wait for summer to actually paint my car. another video um, finally everything that needs to be primed is primed uh, ready to be painted uh, you will have noticed I painted the inside of the wheel arches and inside of the body kit and everything in black I did consider doing that body color as I've seen a lot of cars like that but I know from myself that the car is going to get driven and I'm not going to get in the wheel arches and clean it all the time so it'll just end up looking like crap anyway so black is better to hide it all right, so that brings me to the color. Now, there's been lots of speculation over what I'm going to do, and I've been pretty cagey about the color I'm actually gonna paint the car. So I thought um, I'd make a little bit of a competition out of it, and uh, basically, I've thought the first person who can leave a comment to this video, so it starts fresh here, each person gets one guess at what the color can be, and I need the exact color. So I've already told you, basically, I'm not painting it black. But you can't just guess black. You have to guess Darth Vader black. You have to give me the exact color code um, of the color. Those of you who I've already talked to and already know what color it's going to be are not eligible, so don't even try it. Um, yeah, I want a genuine guess, and um, I thought the prize would be um, that if any of you guys have been following me on Instagram, you might have seen that I did this um, this sketch of um, my 911, just, just a bit of a, um, a sketch on black paper. So what I thought the prize would be is I would do a similar sketch of the car of your choice and I will post it anywhere in the world to the winner. So um, start guessing, but make a guess count because you get one shot. So um, all right, guys. That's it for me for another week, and next week we will have the reveal of the colour and we'll have the reveal of the winner of the prize. So um, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff, and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the same place. All right. Mm -hmm.